Hi Kimbark Coyotes and welcome to this edition of Crazy Critters. Thanks for joining me today in our school garden. And this is not our normal furry or scaly friend. Today we're looking at our tomato plants. Currently we have about 13 different tomatoes growing in our garden. The scientific name for tomato is Solanum lycopersicum. Lycopersicum, try that one. Um, we know that there are over 7,000 different varieties of tomatoes. And I want you to think for a second about where or when you typically eat tomatoes. Is it on tacos? Is it in salad? Or do you eat it like a fruit? Well, I gotta tell you, tomatoes are actually a fruit. What? They're considered a fruit because the seeds are inside of the fruit, like you'd find in oranges or apples or watermelon too. Um, we know that tomatoes can be red or yellow or orange, depending on your variety. And we know that the first tomatoes ever discovered were in Peru, and it was actually the Aztec Indians that were the first to eat tomatoes. Today, tomatoes are grown in almost every country around the entire world. And can you take a guess of which country actually uses the most tomatoes? It's China, believe it or not. The United States comes in second in using and producing tomatoes. Amazing, isn't it? Um, we know that lots of things like to eat tomatoes, including us. And you probably can think of some of your favorite products that we make with tomatoes. Tomato sauce, spaghetti sauce, pizza sauce, and ketchup. Yum. I like to just eat them on salad. Maybe some of you do too. But we're not the only ones that like to eat tomatoes. Sunshine, our desert tortoise here at Kimbark, loves tomatoes. And so do some green caterpillars called hornworms. The hornworm moth will actually lay her eggs on the underside of a leaf. There aren't any here right now, we're lucky. Those little eggs will hatch and that little tiny caterpillar will eat its way through these leaves until it is a big fat caterpillar. It's green and black, we call it a hornworm and or a tomato worm, whichever you like better. And once it's big, it will actually make itself into a chrysalis or a cocoon and become an adult moth, which will then lay eggs. Now you're probably asking, there's no big deal. What's, what's the big deal of a hornworm being on our plants? Well, they eat the plants. And these plants, the leaves right here that they eat actually produce the food for the plant. And if the plant doesn't have food, what do you think happens? You're right, it starts to die. So if you see those hornworms on there, you can just gently pick them up and toss them over a fence. The birds in this area love to eat them. And that's just part of our life cycle, right? Now let's talk about the parts of the tomato plant right now. If you look down here at the base, you can't really see them, but at the base there are roots. The roots go down into the ground and they provide all of the water and nutrients from the soil for the plant. Next we have these stems here. These stems are like straws. They actually suck the water and nutrients up to the leaves. And these leaves are so important. The leaves produce the fruit foods for the plant through photosynthesis. We'll talk more about that later. Now, you know what else these leaves do? They give us clean oxygen. This plant gives us clean oxygen along with some foods that we're gonna be able to eat later on. So we have the roots, the stems, the leaves. Now, if you come over here and get close, you're gonna see the tiny little tomato blossoms. These little guys set on 
Um, and we know that the bees have been up here. We just saw a big old black bumblebee up here. And the bees pollinate, they kind of walk from flower to flower, and that's gonna help some fruit to set on. And right now, if you look, where did we see those little babies? Here we go, right here. You can see that we have some tiny little green tomatoes set on. So in a couple more weeks, these guys are gonna be red and juicy and ready to eat. And I gotta tell you, just last couple of things, um, fun facts. In a city in Spain, they actually have a tomato throwing contest every year and people throw tomatoes at each other. I'm not gonna throw tomatoes at you because I love to eat them. Um, I want you to know that all of these tomatoes we bought on the clearance rack at a local hardware store. They were starting to wilt and die and we bought them for a dollar a piece. And now look at these beauties. Isn't that amazing? Just a little water, bit of food, water, and sunshine. And look at what can happen. All right, guys, thanks for joining me on this edition of Crazy Critters. Please make sure you like and share this video and check back with us soon on how our tomatoes are doing. See you next time.